Joe Goose and everybody. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to wear fight night, because I know you're coming with some stuff. All right, come to the podium now. Uh, the pride of Baltimore. Of course, he runs that Upton gym there, the west side of Baltimore. He is the trainer of Gervonta Tank Davis, Mr. Calvin Ford. Man, here we go again, y'all. <laughs> Ron, I want to thank you, man. I see you brought out the weapons, Joe. I can't wait to see we're going to wait too. <laughs> I showed my little youngins, and I like yo, best wrestler, coach, thank you. since the century. Y'all don't know how important this fight is, y'all. This Generation X, they bringing boxing back. Yep. <laughs> y'all got to feel this energy. Two great fighters, man. All the best companies. Y'all made it happen, man. Ron, for years, I sit back, I don't watch the fights. I sit back and watch all the interviews that you did with Tank. You kept talking, you kept talking. But you understood that you had to do what you had to do to become the man that you are today. Look at this. We, 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 this fight ain't about us. It's about the next generation of boxers to come to see two great young fighters undefeated, ready to do their thing. And I can't wait till that night to be on this level, boy, because guess what? After this fight, who gonna be sitting on that throne? Y'all get it? Passing of the torch. You got Golden Boy, GTD, better known as Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? We got love here, man. We got love, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. We've been waiting for something like this for years. This is the fight that's going to cost the other fighters to fight. Mm -hmm. To show y'all how it's done. And y'all jokers put it together. Man, y'all got me trembling. I can't wait for that night. <laughs> Going against a great coach. That was smart. Going to get an old school coach. Thanks, got my man Brunner there. God dang, Tank. Remember Brunner? I first came home, I wanted to get in the ring with you, and I sit there and say, man, I can do it. You hear what I'm saying? You, buy, you, you inspire me to be who I am as as this boxer, man. You got to put that work in. Ron, we want that, that, that what you call it right there, that little Elvis Carroll. We want that. <laughs> but, hey, y'all, y'all got to embrace this energy right here. Because my man, you the king, but he's the savage of this thing. Y'all going to get a, a great fight that night. Y'all ain't seen nothing. The best is coming, man. I can't wait. Joe, thank you, man. Thank you, Calvin. Against the minds. Really appreciate it. Against uh -huh. the minds right here. We ready, ain't we, young? We ready. Let's do it. <laughs> thank you. All right, Cal. He's right. Got two of the best fighters in the sport of boxing, two of the best corner men in this. It's going to be a hell of a night. April 22nd. Speak fighters. Coming to the podium. Man, we already talked about this guy. He's just exciting. He explodes off the screen when you see him in the ring. Unbeaten. 23-0. 19 knockouts. King Ryan himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Garcia. Thank you guys for coming today. Sorry for the wait. But uh, we're here now. Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to thank Golden Boy Promotions, obviously GTD Promotions, Showtime, DAZN. We really came together and uh, really conquered the, the poison that's been stopping boxing from having the biggest fights. It wasn't easy, uh, but you know we found a way. Uh, this has been a fight that I've wanted for a very long time. And it, because for me, to be a champion, you have to beat the best. Mm. It's not about the titles. It's not about, it's not about, you know, like I said, the titles is about who you beat. And for me, it's a testimony to, to the respect I got for him as a fighter. He, it, to me, I believe he's one of the best. And I've had that type of mentality since I was a young, young kid growing up in the amateurs is I never, I never thought about the weight class. I only thought about who was in it because I want to be the best. And, during this whole journey, I definitely put boxing first and the fans first. 
because I had to accept a lot of stipulations. They know it, you know, going down in weight, rehydration clause. I don't want to bring up too much, but those are the little things that I said to myself, you know what, if I pin myself first, I should say no, but my heart don't let me. I got the character of a champion and my power comes from within and from above. No matter what weight I'm down to, no matter what I have to do, my strength comes from here. I don't look like I hit hard, but I do hit hard. The punches, they just come quick, but when they hit you, you're just down. So, so I want to also, almost forgot, I want to thank Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Glor glorious moment, I want to give it to Jesus. Thank you. Above all, April 22nd, this is a time where the words don't matter no more. The truth will come out. We're all about the truth. He's a great fighter. I'm a great fighter. We settled on the ring. Whoever wins holds the crown. Let's get it. Love it. Coming to the podium now. Another unbeaten. 28 no, 26 knockouts. He's embracing, as because we're in New York City, his Joe Namath look. I like it. He calls himself the one. He's Gervonta Tank Davis. Uh, man, we back at it. Uh, this time we got another dance partner. You know what I mean? Uh, coming up, I watch, I watch uh, Floyd and, you know what I mean, Oscar. Also, um, Bernard Hopkins, you know what I mean? And, uh, Joe Goosen and things like that, and I know that, you know what I mean. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be tough. You know what I mean. This fight gonna be tough. Uh, I feel as though that, you know what I mean. Uh, this is what we came to do. You know what I mean. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I fought, I fought a lot coming up. So, I'm just happy to be a part of this this moment, uh, sharing the ring with a young fighter like Ryan Garcia. Um, that's willing to uh, dare himself to be great. Um, he talked his way in into into this fight, and it, April the twenty second, he gonna have to be able to show it. You know what I mean? I'm coming from, you know what I mean? Where I come from, Baltimore City, the inner city. Uh, a lot of people don't make it from there. So, um, again, uh, I'm just a, uh, happy to be a part of this uh, this fight. You know what I mean? This event. Uh, I want to thank Showtime. Al Heyman, um, Golden Boy, Ryan, uh, Joe Goosen, you know what I mean? And I want to thank, you know what I mean, uh, God, you know what I mean, my personal team and things like that because I, I couldn't have did this by myself. You know what I mean? I had a, a great team, a great um, personal team and things like that as far as like uh, my personal team, my coaches, my support system and kept me up, you know what I mean? I, I, I've been Again, keeping my head down and stay stay grinding in, in and out the gym, you know what I mean? Uh, we had a lot of people that talked down on us and things like that, but uh, we, we, stay, we stay focused and keep our head down a little bit and, and continue to grind, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters, you know what I mean? So April the 22nd, Ryan and Javante, uh, big event, make sure y'all Y'all buy the pay-per-view. If y'all can't buy the pay-per-view, make sure y'all show up. You know what I mean? So um, thank y'all for having me. And see y'all uh, April the 22nd. All right, fellas, let's talk about this fight. That's what everybody came here to see. They see, see you guys, and they want to hear what you have to think about this fight. Tank, I'll start with you. We talked about how big this fight is, mega fight, super fight. Would you tell the people, in your opinion, why is this fight with you and Ryan so important to the sport? I think it's important because both of us young. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a little older than Ryan, but you know what I mean? I think that um, both of us at our peak. You know what I mean? A lot of uh, young fighters don't fight each other, and I feel as though it, uh, this is a stepping stone for you know, the other younger fighters that uh, get in the ring with each other. So I feel as though that, you know what I mean? We we, we both made our name um, coming up, you know what I mean? It, time is now, 
You know what I mean? Like I said before, um, he, a, he a great fighter. I'm a great fighter. And um, we put it all on line April the 22nd. Ryan, same question. Why is this fight so important to the sport? I mean, if you look at boxing uh, in the position it is right now, it's been hard to get uh, prime fighters together, right? Uh, it's usually too late or, uh, you know, somebody's way past their prime. So this is a moment that I think boxing has been longing for for a while. And um, it really is going to test where boxing's at because you really can't make a bigger fight than this. Mm. So we're really going to see, you know, where boxing's at. They want to say boxing's dead. Well, we're about to see it, right? And um, I feel like this is the moment mm -hmm. for both of us. This is a defining moment in, in our careers. This is legacy, right? And um, I think uh, uh, boxing has been longing for this. This is, we finally got it, right? Two prime fighters together uh, going at it. And this is the moment for both of us. Do we want it? Do we want the crown or not? That's really what it's about. Tank, past couple of fights, you've talked about quieting the doubters and how some have criticized you for your choice of opponents that you have been protected for all these years. Does all of that go away on April 22nd? Hopefully, but they, uh, they, they always find something else to say. So, I mean, like I said, all I got to do is keep my head down and continue to grind, be whoever they put in front of me. And that's starting with Ryan Garcia. Ryan, everyone I think in the sport knows how talented you are as a fighter. But I think there's some who criticize you only for the social media following that you have and maybe don't take you as serious. Does all that come to an end on April 22nd? For sure, I, I believe so. Uh, obviously, Tank has the image of a devastating puncher, dangerous, um, and to me, he's a great fighter. So within myself, I would know for sure uh, what type of fighter I am. You understand? I've been doing this since I was, like himself, seven years old, over 200 amateur fights. So this is, this is what I've always wanted. This is, this is it, pay-per-view. This is all, you know, everybody's here. So for me, I think it's destroying the, the image of, you know, judging a book by its cover. It's easy, it's easy. I'm an easy person to target when it comes to, you know, he's not serious. You know, uh, he's doing TikToks, whatever. But I wouldn't be here if that was true. Mm. If that was my main focus, I wouldn't be on this stage. It's quite clear. So this is uh, this is this is the fight right here. Whoever wins, uh, all that goes away. You know, Tank fought Hector Garcia in January because he said, "I want to stay busy. I want to make sure that going into the Ryan Garcia fight, I'm ready." You chose not to take a fight in the interim. Tell us why. I just felt uh, the struggles of making this fight and, and the things that uh, had to be done, how long it was dragging out, uh, I just didn't want to put that risk. Uh, lot, and not for the loss, but you could hurt your hand, headbutts, a lot of, lot of different issues that could occur in a fight. So I chose not to, um, just secure this fight and make sure that it's guaranteed. Uh, I didn't wait that long just to, you know, mess it up at the, the finish line. So I made sure we got to the finish line. That's why I chose uh, not to get a tune-up. Tank, I want to talk to you about the fight. In the past, you know, you've been known for taking your time when you fight a guy, see what he's going to bring, and then you get these late-round stoppages. Does that change on April 22nd, considering now you're fighting a young guy who's got some powerful hands and usually brings it at the beginning of the fight? It depends on it depends on what he bring that night. Um, if he come in uh, like fast or or he, he come in slow, then I might take. I I always want to take my time. You know what I mean? But it it, it all depends on Ryan Garcia what he bring. Um, come April the twenty second. Ryan, along those lines, <clears throat> you told the media, quote. I'm knocking Tank Davis out in two rounds. If he's a tank, I'm an RPG. 
Tell us why this is going to be an early stoppage April 22nd. You made that sound corny, man. Like, <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Did, should I try it again? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, you're good. You're good. Uh, that was me. I said that, right? Yeah. Uh, nah, uh, you know, when I say things like second round, um, you, you asked for a prediction, I gave you one. To me, I'm going to be ready for 12. You understand? Uh, and, and you, have to, you have to respect the fighter going in. You can't just jump in and try to get a knockout. I mean, it's quite clear. You know, anybody with a strategic mind would think that. So for me, it's a, it might be more of a thinking fight than p people may believe. Um, with different opponents, you got to approach it different ways. Um, when he's in front of you and you see what he's attempting, it might not make you uh, take that shot. Or you, know, you might have to make adjustments on the way. There's a lot of little intricates in, in fights that, that uh, cause you to make adjustments. So I don't know how I'm going to come out. Like I said, it's 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 a they dance. They say he was talking out the ass. That's what he was doing. He was talking out the ass. Hey, someone got to promote it. <laughs> I was here on time, right? <laughs> That's cool. You supposed to be like that. So, what do you mean? You supposed to be like that. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I'm supposed to be like that. Yeah. I'm professional. I, I am. That's cool. So Tank, he he's he's wanted this fight a long time. There's an old adage: Be careful what you ask for. What is he getting April 22nd? Say it again, I'm sorry. There's an old adage, you know, you gotta be careful what you ask for when you want something. So what is Ryan Garcia getting on April 22nd? I ass whooping, that's what he getting. <laughs> we'll wrap it up with this. Ryan for that sold out arena and those thousands of people who are gonna pay hard earned money those, hard, those people who are going to pay their hard-earned money for Showtime pay-per-view. What can you guarantee they're going to get on April 22nd when you step into the ring with Javante Davis? I'll guarantee you a classic. It's going to be a classic fight. I'll guarantee you that. You're going to remember this for a long time. Cool. Tank Davis, same question. For those folks who are going to pay their hard-earned money, come out to Las Vegas or order the fight on Showtime pay-per-view, what can you guarantee they're going to get when you face Ryan Garcia? A explosive fight. Um, two young guys that's hungry. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just who won them all. Who, 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 who built like that, that's who's going to win. That's who's going to already win. Nobody can fight for them. Nobody can't fight for me. It's about who really won it, who really got that dog in them. That's who's going to win. That's your quote. Who's going to win? The person who's built like that. Mm. That's what's going down April 22nd, when these two unbeaten, explosive fighters go at it in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas. Again, it comes your way on Showtime pay-per-view. Tickets go on sale. That is Friday. March 10th, they can be purchased through AXS.com, the pre-sale. Tomorrow, just make sure you use the code BOXING. Gentlemen, let's have a face-off. Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia. Right up front.